Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So for today I'm going to be reviewing and doing multiple looks, swatches, close-ups, and all the things with the new launch from Nomad Cosmetics. So if you want to see some looks and hear my thoughts on this palette then please stick around for today's video and make sure you are subscribed before leaving today. First I want to show you some close-ups of the palette and read you all some information and then we'll jump into the looks. Nomad is taking us to Ireland's Wild Atlantic Way. This palette is going to retail for $49 and you can use my affiliate code Brittany Ray to save some money if you do wish to use my code. Thank you so much. This palette is not limited edition. It says that they plan to have it for at least 12 months so don't feel pressure to buy it right now because you can definitely wait if you need to. And it looks like this is going to be launching I believe on Tuesday, March 12th. It says around 12.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this palette has 11 mattes and 7 shimmers. It's inspired by the untamed and dramatic beauty of Ireland's west coast and the cause because you already know Nomad always gives back. They are supporting the Irish Wildlife Trust and that works to raise awareness of Ireland's rich natural heritage and protects it for future generations. You all already know that I absolutely love green shades so whenever I opened up this palette I was beyond excited to create several looks for you all so I'm going to zoom you up and let's get started with look number one. So first off, the elephant in the room, I redid my hair, if you noticed, and I pre-filmed looks two, three, four, and five. So it has like my old hair and then the today, like look number one is new hair. So if you're watching this and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> and you're a little confused, that's why I got my hair done and I pre-filmed those other looks. So I have used almost every single shade in this palette. I know yet, not yet, but I'm about to. Uh, today, I want to play, I want to make more of just like a green brown combo. That's what we're going to do. I love the shade Danny Boy right here. It's like the prettiest shade. I have a little bit of bronzer in my crease. Just ignore that. Which, not bronzer. I have Danny's Boy. I actually wore that this morning. So if you're curious what's in my crease, it's that shade. I'm just going to like freshen it up a bit. But do you see this? I just love the undertone. It's like a taupey gray brown greeny shade. If that makes sense, I love it. So this shade, I went in with early this morning whenever I was getting ready to get my hair done and I just popped that in and now I'm just freshening it up. But is that not the prettiest shade? I just, I'm here for it. Um, Let's see, I want to pop in to, I'm gonna mix a little bit of this olive shade right here, Wild Atlantic Way. This is my other like favorite green in the palette because it's a little bit more toned down. The other greens, you have some that are very bright green, some that are a little bit have like a blue hue to it. So I like the variation of green shades in this palette. I've used all but I think there's only one green I haven't used. So I'll definitely use that shade somewhere along this look. But for today, I really wanted to do more of like a, I don't know, olivey, green, brown. We'll see where this look takes us but I'm excited. I just love those two shades. It's like my favorite two mattes in the palette. They are so, so pretty. Now to warm things up a bit, I'm going to go in with the Castle shade. It is such a warm, beautiful brown. It just like, it is my go-to shade. Other than the Danny's Boy, this is my go-to shade in the palette. The first day that I got this palette, I actually wore this shade all over by itself, but I didn't film that look. Um, I don't know why I didn't, but holy moly, this one right here. I just love it. And it looks very warm up against the green. But when I play with it, whenever I mix it and match it with these, it looks almost like a good neutral. It's not going to make me look orange, which I do appreciate that. Because some, like I would say neutral browns, they can be very warm. And I saw this, I was like, oh, it's going to be orange. But it's not. It's kind of more neutral on me, which I love. I'm going to run that on the lower lash line and just kind of build it up and then we're going to add a shimmer on the lid. I wanted the bottom lash line like a little bit grungy so I really smoked it out. So that's what it looks like without mixing it with other shades if you're curious like the undertone. That's what it looks like on me. I'm going to go in with just a touch of Danny's Boy and add a little bit more of a grunge effect to it. I love adding shadows on the lower lash line because it hides all my fine lines. I'm here for that. Okay, so I've already used all the shimmers, which you will see if you stick around for the rest of the video. 
But I want to use this, uh, the shade Savage Beauty on its own. I tried using this as an inner corner shade, and it's like a little bright, or it's a little dull for the inner corner. It kind of darkens it up. But I want to use this all over the lid and just see. I would say with these, you do get a little bit of fallout. So wet your brush, lay down some glitter glue or something if you don't want any fallout, but I, I don't care. I'm just a messy shimmer lover, so I'm just throwing it on. I kind of want to see how this performs by itself because I've mixed this shade with other shimmers, so I just really wanted to see it on its own. This is such a beautiful shimmer because it really takes on whatever mattes you pair it with. It can be, I don't know, it just, I thought it was like more of a gun, like a lighter gunmetal silver, but if you mix it with greens, it has like green hues in there. If you mix it with gold, sometimes it can pull more of like the goldy gunmetal. I don't know. This one really took me by surprise. For liner, I'm going to pop in to just a few of the greens for like a fun pop on my where I would put liner because I typically don't reach for actual eyeliner. And I'm just going to run that along the lash line and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look for look number one. The only thing else that I did, I went in with this really pale matte and I put that on the inner corner and that's everything. So now I'm going to turn down the brightness. So here it is under low lighting. It's very subtle but still very pretty. So now I'm going to send you over to the rest of the looks. Okay, so this is look number two. I wanted more of a neutral blue look and that's what I achieved. And then over here, I just kind of wanted a lighter green with some gold and let me just share with you all the shades that I use while I turn down the brightness. So here we have it under low lighting. I love the sparkle. Let's start off with a look number two. I went in with the two lighter mattes, this shade and that shade. I just blended them all throughout the crease and then I wanted to warm it up with this shade right here and I added the blue on the outer corner. So I went in with four mattes and just kind of blended them all together and then for the shimmers, I just went in with the blue on the outer part of the eye. And then for the inner part, I went in with this beautiful shade here. And I wanted to see if I could use this shade as an inner corner, but it's kind of still too, like, smoky deep for me. Almost like a light gunmetal. So for a look number three, I went in with this shade right here. It's like a gray greeny shade. It is absolutely beautiful. And then I also paired it with this more olive green right here. I think these two are such a beautiful combo because I didn't want it like too like a bright green for this look in particular. And then I used this shade as liner. I absolutely love it. And then for the shimmers for like the start of the show, I went in with this pretty green right here all over the lid. And then I added a little bit of this gold over here just to brighten things up and that is kind of what I came up with so now let's do a look let's see a four and five okay so here is a look number four and then this is look number five. I'm going to turn on the brightness and talk about what I use. For these two looks, I wanted something very simple. So I'm trying to use the other shimmers that I haven't used in the palette yet. I went in with this one all over my lid, as you can see. And then I deepened it up with this emerald, is it emerald island right here. I just thought that these two would complement each other very well. And then for the inner third, I went in with this shade down here. And that's literally everything. So just three shadows three looks and or three shadows and done and I really do like how they complement each other and how it came out and then this one over here I wanted a like a gold look but I toned it down with like the copper tones in here so I went in with this shade literally all over the lid because I haven't used it yet and then I've toned it down with this one right here just because I'm not completely obsessed with like a really bright gold on me and I think that these two really pair beautifully with one another and then for the matte shade I use this one down here this is like my go-to honestly I absolutely love this one. Typically, I'm not someone who loves golds that much, but I, I'm enjoying this look. So now, I'm going to zoom you out and give you my thoughts on this palette. Okay, guys, so let's go over my thoughts on the new Ireland Wild Atlantic Way. I love the packaging. I love this velvet feel. If you know, like, the 
OG Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, it feels like that. This actually made me think of like a pool table, like just the way it feels and looks. And actually you can see a little bit of four leaf clovers It does designed on the imprint, but I will say mine has some dog hair on it. So just ignore that if you don't mind. And I love the unicorn boxes they, that they added. It is so, so pretty. And also really like how they incorporated it around the mirror. So we get the same feel of like the exterior box. Now let's talk about the color story. I mean, if you're a green lover, hello, this is the Nomad palette for you. I love that they tied in some of these other tones in here as well. They have a little bit of blues, lots of different shades of green, not just like a very monochromatic green. Like you can definitely get lots of different variety when it comes to the colors. You can get olive, like a true green, a yellow green, a blue green all of the things. It's so, so pretty. And I like, I obviously said that I like how they kind of mix in some other mattes. And the, this copper right here, it is so pretty and it really helped tie in my looks with so many other looks I've created for y'all. Um, so as far as like the formulation goes, I prefer the New Zealand Stargazing Shimmer Formula, but this one is still very beautiful. There's nothing like weird. I didn't get hard pan. They're very easy to pick up. So a really nice formula. Um, it's just not the New Zealand formula. If you're curious, it's not as soft and squishy and buttery as for example ghost town or like the mini palette they did the travel palette the all brown one so I'm just kind of like it, trying to let you know what the shimmer formula feels like if in case you were curious, but it's still a really nice formula. It's just I prefer the New Zealand stargazing as far as quality because those are so smooth. This has a little bit more texture, but they're still very beautiful. You do get some fallout, so make sure you have some kind of primer on your lids to catch and really like make them stick, you know what I mean? But so far, so good. I love the looks I've created. I love the versatility. Um, and as far as like inner corners, I, I like pops, I would go in with like this shade right here for me that's going to be like my go-to going forward and I just I love the mattes in here so much normally I'm more excited about shimmer shades but the mattes just like they have my heart with this one guys so you're gonna have to let me know are you picking this one up are you excited about the all green palette because not all green but like you know what I mean the green aesthetic I just think it's absolutely stunning and they nailed it again like <laughs> Every time they come out with palette, it's awesome, guys. But that's going to do it for today's video. Please let me know down below which look you liked the best. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys.